Welcome to Smutty Scriptures, the podcast where three best friends gather together to explore the holy text of fantasy romance novels. I'm Head Priest Blue Cromwell, and I am joined by my sisters in sin, Cuttlefish and Purple Space Cat, to tell you all about our thoughts on this episode's sacred text. We have actually read From Blood and Ash all the way. No halves. We just did the whole thing in one sitting for you guys. So welcome into season two of the podcast. We're going to start off strong. We, I'm, I'm, I was glad to pick up some vampire-related content for us. Ooh, <laughs> or as close ooh. as we can find, I guess. But I, I want to hear oh, your guys' thoughts. We picked one. Yeah. That's what we did. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> We're bad little maidens. <laughs> Damn, Ew. not the maidens. <laughs> what, whatever whatever you know that was hot <laughs> like, <laughs> i do love how her outfit is like described mm-hmm. and her veil and everything and i've seen people do cosplays of her and i'm like damn most of her cosplays are like she thick yeah. you know like she's not some skinny toothpick heroine which like it's about damn time mm-hmm. you know sitting here like pharaoh is like a waif <laughs> yeah she's like <laughs> i'm <Aitlin> starving is- <laughs> And Aelin's like, I'm with 19. Aelin. my body hasn't even fully stopped growing yet. <laughs> well, the, well, Poppy's like 19. Yeah, but at least she's like, they don't make a story element of her. Because there would be no point in her being this, you know, you Wave. can get away with it with like Feyre because you're like, oh my god, their family is starving. Like, it's like the same kind of energy with like the Hunger Games and obviously very different style of book. But the character has to be a certain type of way based on their setting. And there was no reason to do that here. So I'm glad they didn't. Because it would not have aided the story. Give me a thick baddie, bro. What's the problem? A thick baddie and a vampire? Can I ask for more? Listen, I have a problem, though. Yes. I'm not on Team Poppy. I hate the name. She's good. Mm, Like, the name? I can't. I can't. I don't know why. But Penelope... Or Penelope. I is, think it's is, Penelope with a silent H, which is your Yeah. <laughs> I hate everything about that. I can't get behind the name. It's, it's distracting. Mm-hmm. I don't like it. Yeah, and it is like I a love big the character. plot point, too. Because like, every time she's like, you've said my name 11 times, and you're sitting there like, I fucking know. <laughs> I hate it. It was, yeah. <laughs> but the fact that he calls her princess, oh, my God. Mm-hmm. Listen, like, I love, I, I love it. <laughs> Yeah, I figured he would like the banter that they can have, too. They kind of have, like, a teasing kind of uh, familiarity with each other. For a lot of it, at least, I guess I'd say. Agreed. Mm -hmm. This book has, I have learned something about myself. Incredible. I am am apparently very much into the forbidden trope. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. (laughs) Hell yeah. If they are not supposed to have sex with each other, they need to do it mm-hmm. <laughs> as quickly mm-hmm. as possible. They are not supposed to fall in love. <laughs> fall in love now. Do it right now. <laughs> yeah, I, I love the forbidden. Like, you get that a lot with... It was obviously for different reasons with this. So it was kind of fun that it, it, it subjected my, my expectations, I guess it's to say. Because usually the whole forbidden love thing in this type of story is more like because one isn't human. Like, one is a vampire and one is a human, and that's why it's forbidden. Not this whole, like, religious almost well, element to it, but not. Well, hold on. He's not a vampire. Well, he's an Atlantean, which is, like, what they call. I'm like, sorry. No, he's a merman. I didn't like the Atlantean logo. No, I'm be he's, a mer- he's a mermaid. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I can deal with that. Yep. He's yeah. a mermaid. Yep. Because he's from Atlantia. Atl- and he's from Atlantis. Yeah. This very well may be me being super biased, but in my head, you know who he looks like? Jason Momoa. Oh my no. god. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> like, he well, just, I didn't yeah. enjoy any book that I thought the main character looked like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So even when they're all like, oh, he's an Atlantean, I'm like, interesting is he no that happens to be my type <laughs> where where is the tail <laughs> for our audio listeners here uh cuddle just panned over to a how, how tall is that uh cardboard cutout actually is that life size it is indeed yeah, life, life size, size aquaman cutout of Chase cardboard Momo, cutout of course that i have for reasons, reasons. <laughs> for Incredible. science yes always for science i feel but like. i won't when I walk through my house and the door to this room is open, sometimes it still startles me in the dark. 
You're like, who's in there? <laughs> There's a man in my room. Oh no, my oh, God. just kidding. It's fine. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> As long as you don't accidentally attack him, I think you'll be fine. For the longest time, the dog did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I would it was watch very the dog bark and be like, oh my goodness. See, and Somber hates, I have this for different purposes, off topic a bit, but I have a Beetlejuice, like life size, like cardboard cutout, and Somber hates it. For science? Yeah, for science. I mean, yeah, I mean, I would be into it. <laughs> I'm not saying no. but it Maybe more... less of the rotting, though. Right? No. Not necessarily. No? Okay. <laughs> Uh, Got it. Necrophilia. Like, mm-hmm. Listen, <laughs> I, I push the whole like monster kind of thing like pretty far. I'm sure we'll dive into that in other books, but it's it's a thing for me. But what about you, Purple? I haven't heard your thoughts yet. On what specifically? General impression. <laughs> so he's definitely a mermaid. Okay. I I very much love death to purity culture. Okay. But I kind of fuck with the veil though. For, Not like like aesthetic. Requ- yeah, for aesthetic purposes, I mm. fuck with a veil. I don't want to be required to wear one, but like, mm-hmm. I could get behind veils. I'm down for that. That's kind of hot. Okay, yeah, I could see that. Yeah, I was uh, the character design is really, really good. I really liked one thing that was different that this book that I wasn't really expecting. I, I think we're all in some element used to high fantasy. Obviously, for Smiley Scriptures, we've been reading a lot more high fantasy. We love Lord of the Rings in this house. Like, we're very used to, or at least me, a, a very specific type of high fantasy. The world that this book portrays is very dark and interesting and very different aesthetically than most, like, high fantasy that I would say that I partake in. So it was, like, nice to have a change of pace in the world, I suppose. Yeah, I'm not I'm not usually uh, here for the vampire shtick, but I am absolutely here for the death of purity culture. But you did romance like, a star in. Well, well uh, right, right. listen. Okay, just... Technically, <laughs> technically, <laughs> technically, if you remember, technically, my goal is to fuck every single companion. Mm-hmm. And how and far I've, have you wandered I've, away from Astarian since then? Three other people. <laughs> okay. All right. I'll give it to you. Technically with me, <laughs> and Astarian then I had romance me. <laughs> so, <Okay>. yeah. <laughs> Game crazy. Meanwhile, the you only did reason Gale. Why, <laughs> the only reason yeah. why I didn't go do Gale is because my game got fucked up and it's all like, nope, we're just not gonna have any more conversations with anybody. Mm-hmm. So... That's so, all you got. So don't hold that against me. You just gotta be happy with, <laughs> with everything you've I got. I so frog far. lady out of duty. <laughs> yeah, as you should. As you should. Bazel, as I like to call her. <laughs> That's the love of my life right there. That's the best female romance in game. I thought Puddle was the love of your life. Wow. In Baldur's Gate 3? We can't romance even I mean... if we play together. Isn't that sad? Like, we can't romance so, each other. Can I hard can't pivot? play Stardew Valley. Hmm. <laughs> can I tell you how fucking happy I am to finally go and read a book that has like the fantasy stuff in it and it is fucking filthy. Mm-hmm. Sarah, this is how you do it. This is how we do it. Mm-hmm. Let the characters have sex. Tell us about it. <laughs> See, I feel like I was a little underwhelmed. Like there was smut, but it wasn't always what i wanted i guess i should say it felt a little a little tame at first just due to the nature of the whole like oh my god she's the maiden which like i get okay tension okay this like that's fine even though it makes sense like the virginity thing always is like yay we made it like (laughs) good Um, (laughs) i had to go in and do some recon and i had to be like all right listen husband (laughs) <laughs> this isn't like a thing. Like that's not, that's not like how, you like you would have some more sense, right? Other than to just, hey, random person I supposedly don't know, <laughs> and he was like, I mean, fuck it, sure. And I was like, wait, well, no, what? <laughs> you don't even ask any like bit in follow like, up no. questions. <laughs> don't need it. <laughs> They're like, no. Are they willing? Are they of age? let's go yeah. <laughs> like what the hell is wrong with you that was basically him <laughs> that scene of like you know what i'm curious about this all right but when i was reading it i was like come on like that's that's not how that apparently it's exactly how that would go <laughs> yeah i'll be honest i feel Shit. like if we did pull 
a majority masculine audience. I do think that would be the general impression. But honestly, if it was me, I'd be like, oh, I mean, I, interesting. I'd I'd be down. I'm yeah. not masculine, but I'm I'm here. Let's go. Yeah. No. There's maybe less... I'm the only one then that would ask some <laughs> follow up questions. <laughs> There's just some, you know, anyone who would maybe, the reason I say masculine is more like that side of society gets less judgment around the freedom and availability of sex, whereas typically people assigned female birth don't always really get that. We can we can grow to overcome our societal expectations of, which are bullshit anyway, but yeah, I'd be down. <laughs> I mean, I maybe mean, have a couple questions, but I'd be like, eh. I mean, it just kind of skips the bullshit that I don't like. I guess I don't. <sighs> I don't really want to. What do you mean by that? I don't want to get to know you. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I'm trying to get in there and get out. I don't want to about you. <laughs> I am here for a purpose. Uh-huh. I don't need any of the fluff behind it. Like, mm. no, I'm like good. I am just, I have a shopping a list. C Let's go. C. Yep. <laughs> and I do not deviate. If it is written on the list, it is purchased and there's nothing else required. Mm, fair enough. I, I think it's a fantasy for a lot of people, though. Like the oh, I don't know who this person is that's doing this to me. In more, I guess, more a traditional sense, I would say, like, people who really like like glory hole content of any type or any mm -hmm. bodily arrangement. It just doesn't seem... Or blindfolds, even, to a certain point. Like, people like that. I, I guess the fantasy that it's a stranger taking advantage of you and like that. So I think it plays yeah. into both sides. I just, I just would never be able to get behind, like, glory hole stuff because, like, I gotta be comfortable and like I'm not about to like press places up against a fucking wall. That's no. Yeah. I am not flat. <laughs> There's no part of me that is flat. That is not how that works. I mean there'd There's... be a little bench you could lay on or something, depending no, on how you're doing. Not your enough. Thing. Not enough. Yeah. It's not enough. I am not flat. <laughs> <laughs> but I... humans are not flat. I will say that I do like the fact that that the character Poppy from the beginning recognized and was battling against the purity bullshit. Mm -hmm. You know, even on page 20, they said to them, there were many things a woman could do that brought pleasure while retaining their purity. Purity? Mm -hmm. I hated that word. The meaning behind it. As if my virginity determined my goodness, my innocence, and its pres presence or lack thereof was somehow more important than the hundreds of choices I made every day. And I feel like most people feel the same way about that. Well, I would say most. Mm -hmm. Anyway, and now. Sure. Yeah. I feel like it was definitely a time kind of I thing. I kind of love that, though, because she... She also goes on to say several times, like, I make such bad decisions. <laughs> so yeah. she was like, I hate that my goodliness is, is all about the purity. It should be about my decisions. I make terrible decisions. She wants to be viewed for that, and I respect that. She's, she's <laughs> confused. She's conflicted. Yeah. I just, I fuck with it. Like, yes, own it. <laughs> mm hmm Goofies. Yeah, that was an interesting take on it because there is so much. I think that's why it doesn't bother me as much because we've talked about this before with the, like the whole virginity trope and everything and that kind of thing. So th the fact this character is very much like, who cares? Despite yeah. kind of the religious <laughs> ideas going on in this in this culture, um, having that is refreshing. More of a refreshing take. I do have to say the entire time she was in castle boring i hmm. i wanted so badly for one of the servants to accidentally wash all of her clothes with like a pink sock <laughs> all of her pure white clothing yeah <laughs> i just was like come on you can't tell me that never happens mm -hmm. come on one <laughs> one tiny little sock that's all it takes let's go goofy i was really sad that it never happened and you know what? I you know I'm offended. Well, now she can wear whatever she wants. Queen. Yeah, <laughs> it's not the point. True. It's not realistic. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Do you guys have like a specific moment, like as far as like a favorite or least favorite? Oh, Cuddle is nodding aggressively. Please go on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Aggress aggressive. Um, <laughs> it was so 
fucking funny. It is page 256 when Hawk has discovered the uh, book. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he is teasing her about her possession of the book. And he starts to read it. So he says, just making her uncomfortable. The things the man did with his tongue and fingers had only been surpassed by his shockingly large, decadently pulsing, and wickedly throbbing. <laughs> it's just like, you can stop now. Then he says, manhood. <laughs> that was and then fun. she's like, what? <laughs> I like that a lot it was, because it was like almost like a self-aware moment. I was thinking <laughs> about this recently and I love fantasy romance. I mean, this whole thing is about smut, right? We love to read oh, yes. this and consume this. But the words I don't know what you're talking used about. to describe everything <laughs> right, are so like <laughs> his, man- <laughs> his manhood. He shoved his manhood to the hilt into her molten hot core or whatever. I'm like, shut up, bro. <laughs> like, it's... Sometimes if you take a step back, like, you're not in the heat of the moment, or you're not emotionally invested in the characters, you're like, what the fuck? So the fact he goes, <laughs> manhood, I was like, oh my god. <laughs> I My personal favorite is when they impale. Oh. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's usually like a sword. Yeah. Like... He shoved into her into the hilt or something, and you're like, "That's not. Yeah. Why are we calling it that? There's no other way. <laughs> People write evidence smut for hundreds of years, and we this is all we have. I don't think I've ever read smut where someone just said like the word dick. It's well, they do in here. Member, yeah, but it's like <laughs> she she's not, she was like, I don't know what that means, and he's yeah. like, his cock, his prick, yeah. his dick, yeah. is, and she's like, oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, Stop I it. wanted it in more of a serious, like, like we don't have to use those words. Funny, it's cute, I mean, in that moment, right? But why don't you just fucking call it what it is, bro? This is this is very much giving the TikTok, uh, I didn't know we lived in a whorehouse. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Yes, uh, I love that. <laughs> very funny. I love their banter back and forth. I love it whenever he teases her. In yeah. like a sexy, playful way. Mm-hmm. I just eat that shit. I just could. Mm-hmm. I just, yes, I love it. Yep. yep. Huh? It's a good time. I mean, it's okay, I guess. <laughs> yeah. It's I, fine. I would read I it. I mean, mm-hmm. you know, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> sure, sure. What about you, Purple? I kind of want that book, though, by the way. Sorry. <laughs> You're fine. Oh, I think it was called Den of Vipers. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> just spitballing. My favorite part, probably a little... I mean, you probably knew that it was coming, but I absolutely loved it when she hacked Lord Ass Hat to bits and pieces. Yeah. I was like, fucking yeah. go. Yeah. He had to go. Let's go. I will say, I, I liked the scene, at least how it's described when they find the Duke's dead body and like, the oh, yeah. Weapon and like that whole scene. That seemed just very, like, just gory and, and, and described in a really interesting way. I was like, ooh, okay. I like the symbolism happening here. Okay. Fuck him up, to be honest. <laughs> to the hilt. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, do queens have hilt to the handle? To the... Wherever it's got to To the go. handle, to the hilt. To the... <laughs> oh, my God. I'll split down, trip down my balls. Oh, God. Yeah. Book talks, we need a song. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, they, they got his ass. They said, boop, you did. I like that. I think um, it was actually the heart. Yeah, well... For dramatic, effect, <laughs> for comedic purposes, I like that. I would like the ass better. I mean, that would have been symbolism for sure. <laughs> it, I mean, he definitely would have been pegged to the wall. Hey, yo. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that's not been a thing in any of the books we've read so far. That's interesting. I pegging? would love mm-hmm. a book of pegging in it. Well, I'm sure we'll get to not, something. Not me going to Google. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, for my next book recommendation. Um, and yeah. This. I like that scene a lot. I think for me, one of the things. This is a good and a bad. Like, my general impression is, like, I have some mixed overall feelings. I loved that scene. And I love the whole, like, I'm going to protect you. And, like, this person has wronged you. And I killed them and blah, blah. I like that element. Especially the tool that was used and how that means to her and stuff like that. I like that about him. I like that romance. I like that style of character a lot. I kind of... Now, this is partially my fault. 
I specifically picked this book because I was looking up on Book Talk, on TikTok, of books to read if you like a starian, basically. So I was like, okay, sure, because I'm in the mood for vampires. I'm like looking for a pick. I'm like, oh, from Blood and Ash, like people have always been talking about this. I see it on TikTok everywhere. So it's a good one for us to read because we probably want to read it anyway. But also I'm in a vampire mood, so let's go. I kind of want from my morally gray men a little bit more of like the tortured soul thing, which is probably why I like like Azriel from Akatar and all that shit. I wasn't as into Hawk or Castile, whatever we're going to call him at that, at that point, Hawk, but I wasn't as into that style. I like more of the, the tortured man, you know? Mm-hmm. So I, I, went I do into like him. wanting that and not getting it. So that's why I'm like, oh yeah. Meh. No, that makes sense. I do have to say I like him better not as the guard because it felt very hero worshipy and I was like Bleh. I don't want him to mm. be a good guy. I don't want him to do the right thing. I don't want him to be white knight shining armor all that nasty disgusting shit. Uh, yeah, Ew, gross. I don't really- <laughs> I didn't think it leaned that way too far. The nice thing is that she's a very capable main character, so it's not like she really, you know, she put herself in harm's way quite a bit. So that was like a nice change of pace, too, that she wasn't so, I'm I'm weak. She stabbed that man in the heart. Can we talk about that? (laughs) (laughs) I love. (sighs) She really tried to kill that man. I love that moment. So for... Real question. All right. How many men do you think are out there? How many, actually, how many men do you think that I could stab in the heart and then get to fuck me in the forest right after? I'm pretty sure they would die. So I'm going to say we're netting zero. (laughs) You know who I bet could do it, though? (laughs) Do not pan to Jason (laughs) Momoa. What? It's fine. (laughs) Yeah, there's non-lethal knife play that I'm sure can be outraged. <laughs> I do think the stabbing in the heart, I think that would probably be a firm boundary for a lot of, All right. a lot of people. So then there. where do you think that I could stab these men and then have them fuck me in a snowy forest? Mm-hmm. I do the think finger. that's up to them. <laughs> no. <laughs> stab them with the finger. Not the finger. <laughs> that's a good question. Not the heart, though. I guess I gotta take a pull. <laughs> Time to go on, on the, the internet. good reads for some <laughs> scriptures. Where would you be willing to be stabbed and then go have sex immediately after? One hundred and one ways to end up on a list. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, it'd be an interesting list. <laughs> Goofies. So, what did you guys think of? Well, there's there's so many things that I wanted to talk about. One of them is. I kind of have some thoughts. So we have Duke Douchebag, Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right? And he is super old. Sure. No, wait. No, it was his... The fuck is that guy's name? It was the the friend of the Duke, right? Manzine. Lord, don't deserve to live. Lord, Lord doesn't deserve to live. Yeah. Okay. But then she said that the Duke was one of the oldest ones, right? Uh Uh-huh. So let's just say the two of them were the oldest ones and they knew her mom. Mm-hmm. But I think they also said that they'd only live like two centuries, maybe three, mm-hmm. which is just a couple of generations. And then she turns out to be half Atlantean mermaid. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. Right. So I feel like we're just like putting all these pieces together. And then we have like this maiden of the past from, Oh, was it like a hundred years ago? Or they weren't sure. Uh previously. <laughs> previously seen in the From Blood and Ash universe. <laughs> and there's only been two maidens. And the one that was before the Duke and the Lord also knew. And the Duchess was like, yo, don't bring it up to the Duke. He might get a little salty. Cause it'll <laughs> remind him of her. Mm-hmm. Do you think that it's possible that the mom was the maiden or that potentially grandma was the maiden um i guess it's possible i think that i'm i'm not really drawing that connection i guess from the text Mm. in particular 
You're going to have to find textual evidence to back it up. <laughs> it's all circumstantial. I already looked. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it would be interesting. I, I do feel like that'd probably be something that would have been alluded to maybe more so in like their family history or something. But who's to say? I just know those people live a long ass fucking time. <laughs> so I, I'm having trouble understanding the difference in the ascended and the like the rest. So, OK, people, human people that lived there were allowed to have their first child. Mm-hmm. OK, fine. We'll give you that one. But all of your other ones belong to us. They can have the second one, too. I think it's the third and then after. <laughs> Okay, so your third kid's mine. Yeah. No, the second ones are these uh, go and, and like can be ascended. The first ones continue on being human. Second ones can do like ascended stuff. And then the third and fourth ones, they get sacrificed for the good of the gods or whatever. But what do they think happens to the third and fourth ones? Uh, they go work at the temples. Yeah, and well, they're killed, obviously, but no one's allowed in the temples but the ascended, so they keep the ruse going. Because those parents aren't ascended because they are the human firstborns of whoever had them. And that's why they so, exist in that society, I guess. And the ascension process is them drinking the blood of the Prince Atlantean, who also, yeah. ex- you know, used to be Castile whenever they had him. Yeah. So Prince Malik or whatever. So if they didn't have him, no more ascension they probably had to go like hunting catch or somebody else i think they would be a little motivated sure yeah <laughs> keep the side going <laughs> mm-hmm. okay so what were they gonna do with the maiden Would they were going to ascend her she was gonna go through the ascension process no they were i gonna think make they were her gonna probably kill the prince and then have her take his place they, uh, I don't know if it's really clear because she has a unique role and, of course, she's not told anything about it at all. She's like a gift to the gods or so to speak. So Ugh, gross. maybe they're like, hey, Prince Malik, are you lonely in here? Here's a wife. We're going to take her blood, too, though, by the way. Sorry. <laughs> you think they may were they were going to put her as a breeder? Could be. Breed their own Atlanteans? Could be. It'd be a permanent solution. I mean, they already it's implied what that Castile was, you know, a victim of some sexual Rape. trauma during those times exactly so i think you could reasonably assume like maybe something about the ascension stops them from being able to have children so they're like what if we get like a half atlantean put them in there that way they can still have babies and then just so what's the farm. point of her being pure rudeness uh, i think a lot <laughs> of it's like a mask for i mean obviously there could be some like magical explanation because we're pretty new into this universe i guess i would say but i would assume it's a lot along the lines of she's kept Mm. obviously everyone is but she's kept especially ignorant to society and those rules and maybe it's easier to convince someone that that's a healthy or a reasonable dynamic or something that's good for the gods if they have no idea what actual sex and love and intimacy look like maybe it's uh just an easier way to control yeah I mean, going into that with not having sex ever and then being like, this is what it is. You know. Here you go. Yeah. You're welcome. There's some, when we, when you have nothing to compare it to, maybe you don't feel as trapped in a cage, I guess I would say. That's the only thing I could think of, though. Mm. Or maybe she was just there to do, to keep, maybe Prince Malik was being a little feisty and they're like, can you go in there and like take away his pain and shit and just like make him chill? Yeah, and then halfway through the book, she was getting to cue into other senses and shit, right? Other feelings and emotions, Mm -hmm. like fear and anger. Mm -hmm. And lust, I guess I should say. You think she could feel lust? Or was that? There was a a mark where she was like, is that what that is? She does get a lot of the regret and confusion and the pain and all that stuff, though, sure. Which was interesting. It was interesting for her to have those Like a window. Yeah. But even with all that, I mean, again, she's purposely kept ignorant, but I'm like, I, the only things I really tag throughout this whole book are like little moments where <laughs> Hawk was obviously alluding to the fact that he was not who he said he was. Like all this stuff. About yeah, they're like, and the dark one will keep coming until he gets what he wants. And I'm like, yeah, Hawk, I know, because it's you and you're being dramatic. I get that she doesn't get it. <laughs> 
But there are a couple different instances where he just says something along the lines of like, oh, well, if he would do this. And I'm like, oh, my God, Poppy, you're not even like thinking to yourself like, well, is this it's a just you like, know. it's just like Selena. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, well, we, when are we going to get a heroine who can solve some damn puzzles? <laughs> Bro. God damn it, Pharaoh. <laughs> yeah, it's just like a lot of like, damn girl, you didn't, like she's standing there in the wreckage of like all these guards being killed and shit. And she's like, what? And I'm like, Poppy, open your eyes, <laughs> please. <laughs> But it's fine. Mm. I knew from the fucking minute that he was locked was like, we can't take Tawny with us. So no. I was like, don't ask for her to come with you. He's, she's going to die if she does. You don't want that. Just chill. Yeah, I guess I was a little distracted. Oh, sure. Oh, my God. Just like Poppy. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, she was going through it. <laughs> I was more concerned about <laughs> other things. Right, right. <laughs> I was more like, no, she can't go. She'll cock block you. Oh, my God. (laughs) You're like, no. And I'm like, damn, bitch, you don't want to go. You'll die. Tony, stay there. (laughs) He don't want to have to kill you, too. He knows that's too far. He said, I already killed inadvertently your dad, so sorry. And I got to kill your friend, too. Yeah. Yeah. How do you feel about that? I still don't really, like, trust him. Victor? No, Hawk. That's what I was talking about. Yeah. Oh, greed. Like, when he's like, mm. I would never do that. I'm like, mm, would you not? <laughs> mm. He's like, I didn't do that. Just because just cause those dissenters said they were working with me does not mean I'm talking to them. And I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> okay. As if you wouldn't have that's, the you know, <laughs> ability. That's giving, it's giving insurrection. It's giving January 6th. <laughs> bro, it's giving weaponizing competence. <laughs> it's like, bro, <laughs> tell me for one minute. So that was tough. I mean, it was a it was a cool moment for Poppy based on her like channeling into that rage and then killing that other guy. Uh, Loved it. Didn't want the homie to die, but he did probably have to die for the plot to go how it was going to go. But yeah, he's very much like, I didn't do that. And I'm like, did you not? Really? <laughs> um, <laughs> did you not? Were you not going to, the minute he became too much of an issue, like, even if it wasn't you, would you? Hmm. I have to say, though, that Adopt Me Daddy was my favorite character. Adopt (laughs) Me Daddy. Oh, God. He's a good one. He's a really good one. Yep. And then my second favorite character was, in fact, Seti the horse. (laughs) Of course it was. Okay. Fair enough. Yep. I am a little perturbed Mm -hmm. that I have no idea what happened to the giant puppy. Mm -hmm. (laughs) You mean the horse? I said there are actual giant puppies. (laughs) So (laughs) I said, said, no, apparently we're not talking about the wolven. No, we don't do that here. (laughs) Do you you think they smell like wet dog? See, in all of the lore, always, like, any type of vampire always says that. But, like, I don't know. They're different, I guess. They're Atlanteans. Wait, what? Like, wow, it smells wet. That's great, I guess. I don't fucking know. There's, like, classic, like, vampire werewolf lore is that werewolves smell Mm -hmm. repulsive and, like, wet dog to vampires because of how keen their senses are and, like, that kind of shit. Oh. So it's, like, hmm. It is kind of interesting. It's, like, a fun little play that they're, like, working together. And that she's definitely going to get a wide choose moment with both of them. I I could feel my bones. I'm not upset. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not upset either. It was definitely not what I was like expecting. I was like, oh, okay. Like, because I don't really feel that strongly. I will say this. I don't feel very strongly toward any of these characters particularly. Like, I know them. And I know the smut is good. I don't have much interaction. Like, in the same sense of Kieran's character and being like, like, I thought it was fun. I was like, oh, oh we're doing the Y2s. I- yeah, I was like, okay, we're doing that. That's fun. <laughs> Cass, I, again, it's just maybe just not what I want in a main character. And also, again, I still don't trust him. I'm like, you probably killed that person. And you're Victor, that you said you didn't. Mm, kind of feeling like, hmm, maybe. And if not, I don't know. Just the... Hey, um, you know how, like, I kind of, like, rescued you from, like, a life of, like, never being free and, like, being in this tiny little cage? You're in, like, a more fun cage now. And we're also, we're getting married. Yeah. Oh. 
Oh, <laughs> the marriage kind of threw me. Yeah, and maybe she's like, yeah, he's still got time to brew. Hundred years old. You're 19. I think we should just lock this in. And I'm like, (laughs) it's probably it's probably fine. Well, yeah, because I'm like, okay, I'm used to characters getting married at like the ending points of stories. Like, I kind of figured naturally a lot of romance characters go that way, and that's fine because it's fantasy and these age gaps or whatever. But I thought that was going to come after the whole, because obviously I'd assume the next book we're going to go into trying to rescue Prince Malik and like what that's like. And then this confrontation with her brother and just like this whole like element that's going to occur. And I I just figured we would do all of that first before getting married. It doesn't, it doesn't really seem like even the characters are like, why are we going the opposite direction of where your brother's being? He's yeah. basically being farmed for his blood and penis right now. Uh, should we go do that? And he's like, I got to get married you, to a 19-year-old. You mean manhood? Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually really busy planning a wedding to my wife, who I have not asked to marry me, and is 19, <laughs> and has lived on her own for a combination of maybe half a day. But and... it's also faded mates. Right, 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 right. Locking it in. Yeah. And potentially could very well also be related to me since she's part Atlantean. Right. who is your dad? Who is he? What's happening? Like, yeah, it's yeah. not actually adopt me, daddy. Yeah, <laughs> right. Like, I feel like someone like Reese was very mm-hmm. good about you've had these problematic experiences, the whole like Tamlin and being locked in the house and this. And I think Reese does a really good job. I and mean, Sarah J. Mass does a really good job of like separating us from those moments and granting Feyre autonomy. And when it's decided, marriage, kids, whatever, that's almost always Farah's decision. Like, Farah's the one pushing, I want to do this. Farah's the one like, Yeah, just, have a baby. you know, not in Nessa's book. <sighs> Fuck, dude. <laughs> Don't even get me started on all that. <laughs> but it's like, I appreciate when a character is sensitive to, especially because you're setting these two characters up as like, I've also been living in a cage and all these horrible things have been done to me. Uh, autonomy, oh my god, freedom, this. Also, um, you can have like a crumb I'm not really mm. feeling the whole independence thing, by the way. And it's like, oh, oh, okay. I feel like that's all going to change. I feel like when she really sees the world for what it truly is, then she'll be like, oh, well, yeah, I want to be on your team. <laughs> yeah. She'll be like, well, I guess I was lied to. And <laughs> how funny would it be if both of their brothers are actually together Wait, Prince what? Malik you know? and the brother and, and Poppy's brother. Oh, that would be so fun. <laughs> That's also not if she's. Oh, but it he's would be busy. so much fun to have to have that be something that they sift through. Oh man, like, your brother, fuck my brother. <laughs> oh, God, <laughs> your brother, fuck her. Yes, I hate it. <laughs> Oh, that would be so much fun. <laughs> Do I think that's the, how we're going? No, no. And, and that is disappointing because <laughs> that would be so much drama. All right, you fan fiction writer people, let's go. <laughs> I'm sure somebody just on for the it. drama, <laughs> just for the Jerry Springer moments. Yeah. So instead of from Blood and Ash, it would be from Jerry Springer and mm-hmm. Maury. Oh my god! Mm-hmm. <laughs> so hard pivot, <laughs> right? The question, Jerry Springer and the heart <laughs> Oh God! Disgusting. The question I've really been wanting the answers to: mm-hmm. Which one of the sex scenes was your favorite? <laughs> Can I guess what your favorite is? Uh huh. <laughs> is it the scene in the camp? It is. The, yeah, I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. <laughs> The scene in the camp where she's yeah. like, anyone could look over at us right now, and he's like, ah. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's my boy right over there, dude. Don't you worry about it. I ate that shit up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) How weird weird do you think it would be to be K-Dog and just listening to all of that happening? Like, what would sound like two feet behind you? Like, come on, man. With his, like, werewolf senses. Really? He's probably sitting there like, God damn it, bro. Honestly, he's probably just like, damn. Well, my turn next. (laughs) Oh, no. I would imagine that's what, you know, dorm room mates have to experience right sure but i knew you would eat that up because there was a little public little element to it a little surprise oh my god i was like yup cuddle's gonna eat this up 
read niggas, that shit niggas. twice before I moved on. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, I didn't pay attention to what it said. <laughs> I, I have to go. I, you know, it would be wrong of me to not reread it. <laughs> Just, I'm sitting there on the couch. Hear all of the justifications from your brain. Right, right. Sitting there on the couch. My husband looks over. He's like, are you okay? I'm like, I'm fine. Why? You just keep breathing kind of heavy. One page over and over. <laughs> just, it's like you're sweating. I don't know. Oh, my God. They're, they're going camping. It's really scary. Oh, no. I hate it. <laughs> Goofy. Oh, gosh. Yeah, that Anyways. was good. I like the first <laughs> actual sex scene. Like, the second one, I was like, bro, it's her second time, and you're gonna make her get on top of you? Be fucking for real. I mean, she didn't, didn't make her, but, like, she did. She got there, and she's like, now I don't know what to do. Listen, <laughs> <laughs> that kind of stuff does take me out of it, which is why I'm not a big fan of, like, the, I, let me teach you, like, how to do this. Like, I granted... You know, that's no shame to anyone who hasn't had those experiences, who is looking for a partner who's able to do that for you. I think there's a beauty and a vulnerability in that. But for a me... A vulnerability? A vulnerability. You just said. A you hard just on? Vulnerability. That's not... You did. You I did. wish. That is the title oh, of this, this one. I, I wish I did. I'm coning it. We can put it on a fucking uh, t-shirt, to be honest. <laughs> but... <laughs> I is a turn off. I need a sticker. <laughs> Honestly, it's no longer Bay of the Day. It's just their vulnerability la- uh, <laughs> rating. <laughs> I just get like one to five. What's the oh thoughts? Oh my god! But yeah, I, that's a turn off. I can't you think it's the most vulnerability. <laughs> Goofy. I just can't deal with that. I'm like, okay, that's nice. Yay! She's mm-hmm. like, I don't know what to fucking do, bro. I'm sorry. Figure it out. Do something. You okay, read. but it's different. It's, a, it's in how it's written, because when Alid and Lorcan were doing their thing, and she's like, what do I do? And he's like, anything you do will be enough. Mm, that's good shit. Yeah. That's good. I, I still, like that. I still would prefer a scene that does not have either of those. It's just something for me oh, as like, a he reader. He did say. Yeah, he said something along the lines of, like, whatever you do is fine. Like He's like, you can't do anything wrong. Which is a lie, by the way. Yeah, that's not necessarily true. Listen, he's a merman. <laughs> like, if she's down there using tea, then he's like, okay, wait, okay, I know you said <laughs> I, you couldn't do anything wrong. This is that thing. I take it back and take it back. <laughs> yeah. She, she goes down and she just starts. <laughs> <laughs> she's literally just blowing air. He's sitting there job. like. Hmm. Right. <laughs> right. Oh. Yeah, saying anything that you do is like enough or whatever versus you can't do anything wrong. Very different conversations. <laughs> Very different feelings attached to that for me. Yeah. But again, I, I or she's would rather top. not have the conversation. Or like and she's on top and then <laughs> she's on top and then says, So your dad's alive. What about your mom? She's like getting to know mom? him. He's sitting there like, huh? <laughs> Hey, damn, girl, you didn't read the book? You said you read the sex book? Fucking uh, figure out what to do on there. Damn, bro. It was, I, don't, I don't have the time to be reading this. What do I do? Bitch, something. Not ask. I can't. I, it's such, like, ugh. It drives me wild. And I think a, a lot of this book so far, I, I, this is, again, more personal preference. There hasn't been a lot that I have enjoyed. I don't necessarily, like, I'm not against these things, and, and, and I think there's a way to write these things in a certain type of way that is enjoyable. The whole, like, she never goes down on him thing, I hate that. I hate that there's no, like, even just, is it a woman's fantasy to want to be on top? It's not mine. The fuck? No. I want to lay down. Bend me over <laughs> and push my face into something, bro. Just do what you gotta do, but I don't want to be, I mean, I will, because I'm a fair and equal partner, but damn, the second well- time? I don't even know what I'm doing up there. Bro. Mm -mm. That's so much effort. Yeah. It's not a fantasy for me. I'm like, damn, okay. One day we'll get smut with, like, a really nice, like, and again, it is, like, they had to have a lot of element of foreplay. It's her first time. Like, the whole, like, going down on her thing. Great. Keep that in. That's great. It's never reciprocated. Like, and it wasn't in, like, Den of Vipers, and it wasn't, like, most of the smut we read never has that, and I'm like, bro. It was in Den of Vipers in the shower. In like yeah, the, in sense. like a sentence. It's not described in the same way as like the detail no. and the length of time. It's just it like was, it was also with the uh, No, it was also with the, on the couch. Barely. 
And even in Throne of Glass, like, Aelin's like, Rowan, remember when I went down on you? And he's like, yeah. And I'm like, describe it then. Why Why can't I get that scene? No one will give it to me. Ever. Okay, there. everyone will be like, it happened. And I'm like, what do you mean by that? The only one that's come close is, Maybe I, it is Sarah at the J. Wedding. Mass. Sarah J. Mass did give me that a little bit with uh, Cortisol of Flames. With Nesta and Cassian. So I was like, okay. Oh, yeah, that's true. But that's yeah, the only one I've ever good. read. And I read a lot of fan fiction. I read a lot of these books. I'm waiting for it. Listen, and I there's read a no lot doggy of porn. Ever. There's no doggy ever. Fucking ever. It's like, bro, put this in a book. I can't be the only one. There was with this. Nesta, wasn't there? Yeah. She had to. Sarah gets it. Nesta, <laughs> yes, she does. Oh, um... <laughs> well, <laughs> Mr. Uh, or Mrs. Uh, Jennifer Armantrout. I have some complaints. <laughs> I have some thoughts. Yeah. Well, we've got plenty of books left in the series. Maybe That's it'll true. happen. Maybe. Probably not, but maybe. <laughs> <laughs> it would be nice. I know that we're kind of we're kind of zogging on it, but I think that was my favorite scene, though. Like my my sexy scene. Mm-hmm. Yeah. In the forest. Is do you know? Do you know crunch? why? The crunch in the snow. Yep, yeah. that's exactly why. It's because there's snow. You're like, yay, pine. And the crunch. Yay, they're outside and it's snowing. Bro, I'm Do I care like, they're you ain't cold? Not really. <laughs> Bro, you ain't cold. You chilling? Like you? <laughs> Hello. Yeah, chilling. Yeah, <laughs> they're just chilling. Like the whole like vampires being cold and like that whole thing, and then they're like, no, actually, he's like super hot or whatever. He's Atlantean. not a vampire. He's it's an Atlantean. Just what they call it. He's mermaid it's just what they call it and i hate that by the way too i hate that whole like atlantean thing i'm like okay that's and they're fine. the ascended are vampires they're not vampires yeah, and they're how vampires. stupid is i just ah jennifer <laughs> stop doing this to me she keeps fucking around dude okay i feel like we should workshop this for jennifer how about instead of calling them vampires or ascended we call them here's here's my suggestion are you ready Edwardians. Vampa lamps. I hate that. I love that. <laughs> you hate it? You love that? No, I just hate. <laughs> you love it. The vampa lamps. I'm here for it. Let's go. In that universe, are they fucking bioluminescent? What's going on there? <laughs> oh, that would be beautiful. <laughs> like, what's they think happening? they're all... They think they're enlightened. Oh, but up. <laughs> this is actually the end of season two of <laughs> this week's podcast. Thank you all for listening. Enlightened. <laughs> God, dude, I can't. I can't. Y'all got me fucked up. You love me. You love me. Mm-hmm. And I'm fucking right. Goofy. <laughs> Adorable. You're welcome. It's true. <laughs> I wonder if there's some like. There's got to be ascended who are like s- not happy with the process to get there, right? But not enough, mm. or not vocal enough, or not powerful enough to really change that process. Like mm. maybe if if she is more of like a regret, or not a regret, but like more of like a disappointed thing. Maybe it's like about being in touch with your mortality or something. I don't think so. There was a part that she had said. She said, "This is um page three twenty two the end of chapter 27 and poppy was like yo are you mad that i like killed your husband and did you know that like he was you know doing some shit she says i would not ask that question you would not like my answer nor would you understand neither would i expect you to take this as a much needed lesson penelope some truths do nothing but destroy and decay what they do not obliterate Truths do not always set you free. Only a fool who has spent their entire life being fed lies believes that. So that sounds like if you know the truth, because I feel like that's her talking directly to Poppy, Mm -hmm. a fool who has believed lies their entire life. The truth will not set you free. Mm -hmm. Sure. I like the implications behind that. What do you guys think about him being able to block off his feelings from her as well? That was an interesting turn. Mm. Like it, it almost, almost makes me wonder if he can filter certain feelings. Mm-hmm. It almost reminded me of in the ending of Throne of Glass when Dorian 
I, transmutes his mind, I guess I should say, and then Maeve thinks she's got him, but that's like a fake version of his mind. Mm-hmm. It almost kind of gave me that energy. Like, maybe he wasn't putting that up before because he didn't necessarily know she, like, or had it confirmed that she had those powers, but he was sure to put those things up. Yeah. Purple's doing a heckin' search. Mm-hmm. Uh, 226 and 227. I'm trying to figure out where it starts. Hey, no problem. I think it's interesting. Well, I guess this was probably just leading into the fact that Poppy is like half Atlantean or whatever the fuck because she had those like that half bite mermaid. mark from her like attack as a youngin, but she mm. wasn't turned. It's got to have some because that there. was from a craven. Yeah, and cravens don't turn people, right? I think or a they bite do. From a craven can make more craven. <laughs> Sorry. But because and a she bite was, from like, a Atlantean, vam- she was like, I'm fine. Vampire can make Craven. Craven can make Craven. Atlantean make Vampire. Yes. All right, I got you. In our holy text on 227 in my version, we are in the little study, and Duchess Dickhead is like... I want you to tell me if you feel anything. And then she's like, nah. And then the Duchess exhaled sharply through her nostrils, and then she downed her drink in one impressive gulp. My eyes widened as my mind rapidly processed her reaction. It was almost as if she expected me to feel something from her, but I'd never been able to. I didn't think I ever would be able to. Good, she breathed, her skirts swishing around her ankles as she turned back to the cabinet placed in the glass down. Yeah, that sounds disappointed. And yeah. then she's trying to mask the disappointment. So, yeah, maybe she is like, damn, w- miss my immortality. That was a sign of my mortality. And then Poppy's like, yeah, that should go on. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I got about nothing. <laughs> and they all walk around with eyes that are fully black. Yeah, yes. I like that. I was into that. It's very goth. The whole the whole aesthetic of everything is very goth in this whole universe, which is very interesting. Okay. Can we fucking talk about probably one of my most favorite parts about the entire book, though? Yeah, absolutely. The fucking forest? Okay, I don't care about anything that literally happened in the forest. (laughs) I love the forest. Mm -hmm. Like a forest of blood or whatever. I don't know, whatever it was. It's very, very black, very red, very sometimes there's snow. Mm-hmm. And I was like, that is cool as shit. They were like, oh, the roots are mangled and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, dude. And like, it weeps blood. That is sick as fuck. That is so metal. Yeah. I was like, all right, I see you, Forrest. Let's yeah, go. Dude. That's what I was saying with like the different like aesthetic to like a lot of the high fantasy that I feel like a lot of us are used to. It was like a nice change of pace. You know I mean, what? I also simultaneously hate it with a passion because i feel like it is so sticky (laughs) sure (laughs) yeah so i'm like yes and then also no goofy (laughs) burn it down (laughs) oh no it's it's a very it's a very odd mixture for me living just (laughs) living 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 living. living. goofy (laughs) I will tell you what. Hot in your cold, yes. <laughs> I did not enjoy when they had that whole like blood. Uh, she's dying, so he's like, "Take my blood," and then she's like, "Okay," and then like she stabs him, and then he's like, "Ah, munch," and then like probably being like, "Am I gonna turn or whatever?" And it's like, bro, and then he's like, "No, I didn't give you enough blood, and you didn't take enough for me." I'm like, what? I was like, cop out, such a fucking cop That's out. That's like just cop so out. standard. <laughs> I mean, granted, there are, like, differences. You get, like, maybe more traditional vampires and maybe more Venom-based or whatever. This I like. Like, there's an intention. There's a purpose of, like, oh, we have to give each other blood and this. But, like, now it's down to the amount. Like, that's very, like, okay. All right. You need three liters. I only gave you (laughs) 2.7. Yeah. Oh, oh, (laughs) okay. I desperately want them to invest in measuring cups. Yeah, like, she's just drinking. And he's like, damn, get off of me. You're about to turn, dude. One more sip and he's you're like, done. He's like, yeah, 
golden chalices. I'm like, no, fuck a chalice. <laughs> give me, give me a three cup measuring cup. Goofy. That's what I need. <laughs> and like a like a one of those silly straws. Oh my god, the ones that make like glasses <laughs> on your face and stuff. You just there. where where is that imagery? <laughs> he just I stabbed that it. into his neck. Oh my god. <laughs> Jennifer, if you're taking requests, <laughs> please, Dude. to your gods. I thought that was going to be like a point. I was like, ooh. She's like, am I going to turn? I'm like, ooh, interesting. And he's like, no, I didn't give you enough. I'm like, girl. <laughs> like, I'm even well, used to more like D&D lore where it's like a drop and it's like enough. I'm like, okay. Well, now here's the question about that. Because she's part Atlantean, does that matter? Does that change could she still change if she's not human i don't know does she want to like do, because she's half atlantean does she want to become woven instead like what's the vibe can you become woven How? can you transform unanswered questions mm-hmm, mm-hmm. what happened to the horse it's gone it was wolf food it's horsing around somewhere else <laughs> one puppy fed the other oh no Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck Damn, you so hard, left-handed. <laughs> no, goofy. He was such a good puppy. Did all the best things. Well, those are our unanswered questions. I do want to see this scene of like her and her brother like confronting each other, or, like mm-hmm. whatever, and like that whole moment. That could mm-hmm. be pretty interesting, depending how they play it out. I want to see I- her with the yeah. queen. Yeah. Mm. And like why is she the queen's favorite? What's going on there? Why? A lot of, a lot Maybe of she makes really good pie. She, she was a that. kid. <laughs> I don't know. She don't know how to do that. <laughs> and if I remember right, she didn't remember the attack. She just woke up after it and was told what happened. So she mm-hmm. remembers blood. And yeah. Slipping away from her mom. But it's entirely possible that it didn't happen the way that she thinks it happened. Yeah, that's true as well. In a universe where you can, like, look in... Well, not everybody, obviously, but where you can look into someone's mind and, like, sense their feelings and emotions, is there a possibility that someone could do that with memories, even? It's kind of interesting. He can compel her. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't really dive as much uh, into that as I maybe would have liked. I feel like it's going to be coming in the future. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I could see that. I feel like this Jennifer one was to got ease a us in. From us. I feel like it was, but I just, I don't feel like I got a good enough idea of the plot. Which, again, the, the plot's not the point of these books, but at the same time, I was like, okay, this might as well happen. <laughs> yeah, no, that's fine. What do you really think of the scene under the her. tree? Oh. <laughs> it was not my fave. It's fine. <gasps> it felt very prom. Not prom. It felt very prom. <sighs> Maybe I'm just really easy to please. <laughs> Maybe I'm just very difficult to please. <laughs> you know. Does that mean that I have unslakeable bloodlust? Something like that. <laughs> yeah. And I hate it when it's sticky. Oh my god. That's how we know that's how we know that I'm the thirsty one is because I'm like just mention something vaguely sexual and I'm super excited for it. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Meanwhile, I'm sitting there like, okay, but they didn't do this. They didn't do this. He doesn't have, this is not the shade of morally gray man that I would like. I want him to be more of a medium gray. Okay. Meanwhile, I'm like, it's three and a half inches. Oh my God. (laughs) Amazing. (laughs) Goofy. (laughs) I think my favorite part of their banter was whenever she threw knives at him. Oh, yes. I love the fact that she's like, I'm, well, I will fucking stab you. And he's like, now that I believe. Uh-huh. <laughs> he's like, I'm surprised you haven't done this more. I love that. Yeah, I, love that I, so really, much. I really love it. I, I would love very much if they could just like try to kill each other more. Or like, mm-hmm. rather, if she could try to kill him more, I would like it more. She seemed to get very Mr. and quick. Mrs. Smith. She got over it quick, though. Yeah, I don't like that as much. Yeah, she was like, well, <laughs> oh my god, I can sleep in a bed tonight? Aw. Aw. <laughs> like, he also got girl. over being stabbed in the fucking heart really quickly. Well, damn, Listen, over 200 yeah, years so old. That's... Can you tell him how many times that happened? I mean, I guess he likes to keep it spicy. 
He really yeah. does. I mean, it was kind of funny. Do you that... think it? Go ahead. Did it give him heartburn? Not heartburn. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, I liked everyone's reaction to her, like, fighting him, like, in the barn, and they're like, damn, that's crazy. Like, no one gave any shit. <laughs> yeah. Like, Cass, have, good luck with that. Meanwhile, she's, like, trying to wail on him, and he's just like, damn, that's crazy. She's trying. <laughs> I think it's amusing to him. Yeah. I think he thinks it's funny. Yeah, and everyone else is like, damn, good luck. <laughs> Looks My my money's on her. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I hey, did think for a up. second that bad bad puppy man was with less hands <laughs> I don't remember his name no that's no that's a good description no I'm good with yeah, that yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah he got taken care of quick I was a little sad I thought that it was going to be like like a Cassian kind of a thing where he was going to be all like no just kidding <laughs> that's funny though mm. Well, no. he got hand like, it to him. He's in a stressful <laughs> time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got over that pretty quick when they're all like talking about what parts of her to keep and all that shit. I'm like, Ugh. oh yeah, yeah which is like. <laughs> Just but I mean, in men. the barn, though, I was like, yeah, yeah. oh, he's going to be like Cassie. No, no, mm -mm. no, no, mm -mm. mm -mm. no. But you know what? I bet that whole room is sticky as fuck. <laughs> Don't matter. No one in there anymore. She said, I am being a very good person right now, and I deserve to have my own room. And he's like, yeah, no fair. <laughs> True. For sure. Where, where are you, you going to go? Can you work anywhere? No. Do you live without me? No. Where are you going to go? She's you like, can't be a maiden again. Yeah. We took that. You done fucked that up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck, fucked it up. <laughs> I mean, I will say that the element of... I mean, it's so maybe more of a gray area, but I like the conversation of like where she's like, "Will you stay with me tonight?" And he's like, "If I do, you ain't the man anymore." <laughs> Say that, and she's like, "Yeah, cool, whatever." Like that whole like conversation was very uh, forward, but good. I mean, I liked it. And then at the end, he's just like, "Shh, shh, shh. everything's gonna be very different for a couple of days, but know that this." He's so like, real. "Also, I really fucked you over, and I'm sorry." Yeah. But also not at all. Yeah. Not at all sorry. Also, I'm going to go <laughs> kill your guards, okay? I'll be right back. <laughs> shh, I'll bring you a snack. Up. Don't get up. I'll bring you a <laughs> snack. <laughs> she wants <laughs> some nice water. Yeah, she's like, where are they? He's like, mm -mm. no, no. Shh. They're gone. <laughs> just this, just... Shh, 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 shh. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. That's like his energy toward her. She's like... Where are you going? And he's like, I gotta take care. Shh, I gotta take care of some. Don't worry about me. You just, you just sit here. You be here when I get back. You, you keep doing you. Mm -hmm. Crazy. You know, ever think about how uh, different that story would be too if he had snatched her up the first time you tried? You know, I it has gone through my brain hole. I cannot figure out why he left. They're all like, the supplies are here, and I was like, what the fuck? Supplies. Because if they, yeah, that's why he originally left the room. And he was like, if he, if he knew who she was at the time, mm -hmm. which he did, and she was there by design, which she was, what would have been so important mm -hmm. that he'd have been like, ooh, yeah, I'm going to be right back. Well, I don't think <laughs> at that point he, did he, well, no, because he did say he's been watching he her did. for a long time. So, yeah, I don't really know. Well, but he also said that he knew exactly who she was. Yeah, and she was like, So what no. was so important? Killing Rylan. <laughs> he said, get that man out of here. Like, that wasn't even do? the same day. I know, but he was like planning on it, I guess. He said, Actually, Yeah, but K-Dog like, came up and he was all plan. like, hey, guess what? The stuff is here. Yeah. What was the it's stuff? like, hey, your Amazon order came in. He said, damn, I got to take care of that instead of committing a, a kidnapping. <laughs> You're right. Instead mm. of, you know, the, the plan that I've had in motion for you know ever instead of having that come to fruition i gotta like go pick up my amazon package mm -hmm. i gotta sign for it it's a whole thing <laughs> yeah you know they won't drop it off unless i'm gonna sign so you you be here when i get back. dark one the medium like, yeah, dark yeah. one it's like a problem <laughs> yeah you know me and my brother we look alike and it's like the whole thing. <laughs> they the never whole find the right address i gotta like flag them down yeah yeah that's interesting if that would have been kind of the case. Or even if they would have snatched her, like, after the whole Ryland murder thing. 
And then she's like, no. You know, she fought back in that moment, which go off, queen. Love that for you. But could have also been a very different story from there, too. I do like, uh, I don't know if it's necessarily a trope specifically, maybe a theme we see often, but I do like the, I've actually been watching you for a long time. You know, that's that's good. That's a, that's a good start for me. Well, I guess it's good that we're going to read Haunting Adeline next. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think I might like that one. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I, still, I still like this story overall, but I would probably I'd probably give it like a two and a half out of five. I feel like it's that's a good spot for it. Like, it had a lot of good bones. You know? <laughs> good boners? <laughs> sure. Yeah. <laughs> that's a good boners. I don't think they ever really describe size, do they? No. Yeah, they're kind of just like, it's in there. I mean, I guess she has no point of reference. I don't know. No. She's like, I just, well, this is book. just how they look to me. Yeah, I guess so. The book is probably a point of reference. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Goofy. She literally went to the library, checked out the only point of reference, and then stole it. Mm-hmm. And then he's like, don't worry, I packed that, by the way. <laughs> that was fun. I, I like that moment. Fun. Yeah, I was like, oh, okay, banter. Okay. I also hated that she hid it under her pillow. And I was like, God damn it. It's no, why? <sighs> I was I was kind of half low-key hoping that she would have made her own made up weapons or whatever. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. And hid them around the <laughs> Not the DIY. <laughs> Dang. But I forgot all about that. That's hilarious. The DIY weapons everywhere. Instead she's like I found this spicy book at the library, which, like, go off, Queen. (laughs) (laughs) At least she knew how to read. (laughs) Oh. Yeah. Better start than uh, some of our (laughs) friends. Do you think, uh, do you think Tawny is going to get to ascend? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe Poppy will try to be like, no. And then she'll be like, I think she's going to be like, you don't know what happens in there. And Tawny be like, yeah, I do. I'm I'm okay with it. (laughs) I think, yeah, I think Tony like, is gonna. No, what end are you gonna ruin guy? this one thing for me? Yeah, the whole like friends, like she's like forced to be her companion and stuff. I'm sure there are good moments, but I could see it would be very interesting if they pulled that into like a. She's like, Poppy, I don't give a fuck. I'm ascending. I want those cool eyes. Okay, I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of here. I want to run really fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would love to not feel anything anymore. Yeah, she's like, I'm really busy. <laughs> <laughs> and I have no choice but to respect that. What a queen. So does that make Tawny a Gen Z? Hmm. Or millennial? I think wanting to live a long time is neither generation. No, I mean wanting to <laughs> feel nothing. <laughs> mm, that's probably both. Mm. That's probably both for different reasons. You know? Mm. For millennials, it's like the economy. For Gen Z, mm. it's like... yeah. yeah. New age social living media pressure, and then yeah, following up into that economy. Probably a lot of pain there. <laughs> Cuddle, well, I am very interested in your big predictions for the rest of the series. Uh, I think we're going to have a lot more sex. All right. Yeah. Yep. I think we're going to have a lot more. Yeah. Um, I think that's reasonable <laughs> to predict. I think he <laughs> is going to continue to battle between like, you know, do I trade her or do I keep her? You know, I don't know. Well, she's my wife. I, like, I should probably keep her. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I like, we're I gonna... can pay the rehoming fee. It's <laughs> not the rehoming fee. I think fee. we're, I think we're going to go back to Atlantis and we're going to meet dad. Uh-huh. And uh, oh, you think her dad's still alive? I think his dad's alive. Oh, I thought you were talking about her dad for a second. I was like, oh, I think her dad's gonna know who she is, mm, like who her parents were. Oh, that'd be a I good think, way to find some info. Yeah, I think that we're gonna, I think next book is gonna be more. I, I don't think we're gonna have any confrontations between like brothers and stuff. I don't think we're gonna go back to the vampires just yet. I think we're we're gonna go to Atlantis you mean and we're the gonna. Lamps? Yeah, I think we're gonna. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> I I think we're gonna go and see Atlantis. I think we're going to find out some more information about like the past. I think Castile's gonna have some brooding. He's gonna have to do. 
Oh yeah, that's that's you have no choice. Sure. It's part of And I think that his dad is going to know more about her past and I think he, his dad uh is going to be an asshole. Yeah, again, part of the professional development got <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Mhm. I think his dad's going to be like, "No, fucking turn her ass in so you can get your fucking brother." Yeah. What is wrong with you? And he's going to be like, "But I love her." Dad, that's my wife. It's like, my mate, girl. <laughs> a teenager, bro. But I think it's going to be more like the daughter of so and so, the traitor, <laughs> like something the like that. Of Jason Momoa. <gasps> Damn! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I can see that. The ex leader right of Atlantis. Oh my god! <gasps> Wait, do you think that? Her ancestor people are like the king and his mistress lady that yeeted themselves out of history. Well, uh, maybe. Ew. And they just like left their baby with like a human couple somewhere. Perhaps. Yeah, like, yeah. Take this. And they're like, all right, bet. And then they die immediately. That could be interesting. Or not necessarily like she, it, you know, that happened immediately then, but like that would have been her ancestor. Mm. Okay, I can see that. I wouldn't be against it. Honestly, reasonably, the only thing I'm predicting is more like, I think you're on the right track with the more sex. I think that's going to happen. I would put money on it. <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> and, They're going to go back to, to purity culture. Yeah, she's like, actually, I'm a born again virgin. So do not <laughs> I'm oh, not doing that anymore. God. But I, I think we'll get a little bit more. I think we'll be dive into the why choose element a little bit. But I kind of want to see how it plays out because they were like teasing him at the end of the book. And I'm like, okay. But I don't, I don't know if this is going to be one of those, these two are like separate relationships. Like I have my husband and also you're part of this deal. But you guys don't interact in that way. Or if they do. Damn it. I would I would prefer that. I prefer if it's more like a triangle situation, personally. Uh, that's the only kind of pyramid scheme I can get it behind. So <laughs> I'm ready for that. Or in front of or underneath. Or- Whatever angle of the triangle you want to be. <laughs> but that would be cool. I think, I think next book, Poppy's going to get a 101 on sucking some dick. Maybe, bro. I just, if I have to read about her so I fucking kneeling there, like, I don't know what to do. I have... <laughs> He's going to be like, pray for me. (laughs) Oh, no. (laughs) What are your gods now? (laughs) Suddenly, I don't want that scene anymore. (laughs) Suddenly, I'm not interested. But I would think that would be cool to see. I do think they'll get married. I mean, it does seem, I don't, well, something could interrupt it, I guess. But it's, I mean, considering they're talking about it now at the end of this book, I feel like that would be a big point of, the next i don't know what it means for the greater implications of poppy and taking back their brother and blah blah blah, and like that whole thing i have no idea but i've i don't see any reason for them not to get married i love how he's just like oh my god i have this thing to do to save my brother and it's like really important you know he could probably wait yeah like damn you don't want him at the wedding (laughs) damn okay Is there a reason? Oh, is he oh. wait? Is like he like is the prince like the the one that like got replaced by him? So his own brother? Like are they supposed to? Because we talked about this earlier about like the whole maybe she was there to like be there and recreate life or whatever and like you know essentially breed Atlanteans or something. Like is she oh, supposed shit, gotta, to be there in the I'll first marry place? her before I save him? Well, like what if it's like a, a thing where they were supposed to be together, and then he's like, "Let me just go ahead and lock this in." That way, when I free my brother, he's not like he gets the deal. That'd be fun. <laughs> it turns into a gambling situation, deal or no deal. Not the deal. Or no deal. <laughs> Poppy's like, bro, <laughs> I got so many boyfriends. I went from zero to like three immediately. But yeah, that's really all that I have for uh, predictions. I guess I'd say. I predict that there will be puppies. Okay. To be more specific, I think we're going to see like little wolven kids somewhere. And they're going to be like, oh, it's a family. And it's going to be like giant dog people, but also like little puppies. <laughs> I, would I don't down. know why. I just feel like there's going to, there's going to be like little wolf babies somewhere. Maybe Poppy will have one herself. 
Oh, I hate that. Thank you. You're welcome. Listen, this author's a friend, uh, Sarah J. Mass, so don't be surprised if someone ends up pregnant. Okay? Don't be surprised. Uh, only if she likes them. If you make it out of your early 20s without having a baby, are you really in a fantasy novel? Be honest. <laughs> no, not in a fantasy romance. But Damn. I'm sorry. To, I'm sorry to say it. Do well, guys- Blue, I do believe mm-hmm. uh, it is your turn for Bay of the Day. I mean, as far who as... has the most vulnerability? Oh my god! Yeah, yeah, it's Leia the day for these ones, right? When we start getting in a little bit mm-hmm. heavier on the smut side of things, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. So who's who's the Leia the day with the most vulnerability? I mean, I it's kind of gotta go to Cass. I feel like he is very mm. physically my type, which is nice. It's a nice change of pace. I am very like I've I looked up fan art of him a little bit because I was like I'm like I'm not trying to find spoilers but at the same time I'm like I'm interested. <laughs> <laughs> he looks very different to, than Jason Momoa to me personally as far as like what I've seen from like artist drawings and everything. But he is a very handsome man. I'm definitely more that's definitely more my type for sure. So I, I get I very give Prince Dorian. Dorian. Prince Dorian, yeah. I get more like Reese, like a little bit more masculine version of Reese, just with golden eyes. Kind of, you know? Hard to hate that. Hard to dislike it's that kind of type. I'm... But he's got to be the lay of the day. I've got some qualms about him still, but I'm open to it. And, uh, I mean, someone's got to teach homegirl how to do this shit, so. <laughs> <laughs> and he's out there. He's volunteering. He said, listen, keep breathing. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna figure it out. <laughs> I'm waiting for them to be like, all right, let's recreate this scene. He did that already. <laughs> yeah, with the uh, first page or whatever, and then he goes down, does his thing. We love a munch, to be honest. <clears throat> I meant like referencing it mid act. Oh, I see, I see. Like a role play <laughs> situation inside of a fantasy romance novel book. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> that's that's very uh, layered. We want to thank you guys for listening. This has been Smutty Scriptures, reading From Blood and Ash to the very end. Next episode, we are going to dive into Haunting Adeline, which is very exciting. Are we thinking we're going to read that whole thing as well, or try? Okay. Yes. So we're just going to go in the full full book. No <clears throat> halvesies this time, unless we get into a really big series or something. But for right now, for season two, focusing on introducing some new series to you guys and kind of seeing where that takes us overall. But of course, make sure to follow the Smutty Scriptures social media pages so you can stay up to date on what we're reading and when these episodes are coming out to you. We have the Smutty Scriptures Instagram. We've got Smutty Scriptures TikTok. Uh, and the Smutty Scriptures Instagram also has links to the Etsy shop where these two are making lovely designs. A lot of Akatar themed stuff, Throne of Glass themed stuff, Den of Viper themed stuff. I'm sure we'll eventually get some hot vampire i I mean we need vulnerability on a shirt to be honest but (laughs) we'll be getting some uh merch in the the shop for you guys and as always thank you for listening and this will be uh church adjourned amen peace be with you or something yeah one of those (laughs)